everybody, it's Kaylin from Explore from Skooker Girl. Here with Tinkerbell and Damien and Adrian. And we're on the side of the road! Yeah! <laughs> we came to see Start, a turtle program. Okay, let's get started. Turtle, beautiful little female. So she actually peed because it's a the defense mechanism. But the reason that she peed so much is actually because she was about to lay eggs. Oh. So what I'm doing right now is actually checking to see if she's gravid, which means checking to see if she has eggs. And she does. Oh my gosh. So what she was probably doing was crossing the road. So the old age old question of why did the turtle cross the road? <laughs> to lay its eggs. So she was probably crossing this way, gonna find something here to lay her eggs in. And what they do is right before they lay, they actually pee all over the ground to loosen the Soften solid. it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we interrupted that, and she that's why there's so much pee. Eggs. So what's gonna happen is she is probably gonna be too scared to lay. Yeah. She has no more pee in her. So she's probably gonna go back home in just a lot of water and try again tomorrow night. Aww. That is what she's gonna do. Oh, and there's still some coming out. So she has a cut in her shell, so it was probably injured when she was little this younger. Year? No, on the other side there's a crack in the Oh right yeah, there. look at that. It's the first time I see that. So she yeah. was probably injured by something. Injured and then by she's something. Kind of grown around it. Yeah, exactly. It could be recent. But like but... a scar, it doesn't go away. Yeah, no. So what'll probably it happen? Solid? Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's not flimsy at all. So what's probably gonna happen is she's gonna keep growing a bit because she's yeah. maybe not That'll at her max. That'll look bigger, I bet. Yeah, it'll look a bit bigger. It might grow in, but hard to say. Really, really hard to say. Cool. She's so cute. She is Little adorable. Girl. She's very so feisty. Sorry, I interrupted. Therapy. We know what it's like to want to give birth in private. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to remember where the spot is, the big birch tree there. Hey, do you want one of our flags? Nah, we're good. We're good. I'm just going to remember this big birch tree. Not There's these remember. two holes there or whatever. There these you holes. go. Yeah. What if she got, I mean, what if she doesn't come back here? Um, well, I'm going to bring her back here. And what I'm going to do is she was heading this way. So right. When you see a turtle on the road, you always want to put them back in the direction that they're heading. Right. So even if she's close to that side, if you see her yep. heading this way, you bring her that way. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to process her and we're going to bring her back and we are going to let her go right down there. Into the woods? I think she thinks she can fly. Into the woods. <laughs> we were talking about that. We were like, if only turtles had wings. Because when we were coming, when I was running to get her, I don't know if you guys saw, but that car was coming real, real fast. They didn't mm -hmm. even stop for me. No, they didn't with the children so, running down the road either. No, so imagine for turtles. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very happy we got her because there's a possibility that she could have gotten killed. And then she wouldn't have her eggs. No, she would not, and all the little eggs would die. I'm yeah. here with the Start Turtle Project. And I'm Haley, I'm also with the Start Turtle Project, and I am here for the summer. I'm Maddie, I'm with the Start Project, and I'm a research assistant with the project. And I'm Anthony, I'm also with the Start Turtle Project, and I'm a senior field technician. How can you put her on her shell? Um, it's just that way she doesn't crawl away. I mean, she's able to flip herself back up. Eventually. Damn, they must be really strong. They are very strong. They have very strong necks. It's half yellow and half red. Yeah. The painted color. So this is a very, very typical color for the plastron. And this is very typical shading for painted turtles. Sometimes it can be more orange, a bit darker red, but it's very, very typical colors in the rocks. So when we process, we weigh them, we measure them. We also take what we call notch codes, so we notch them. That way, if we catch them again, we know exactly what turtle it is. Sally shells. Sally shells. Oh! And there you go. <laughs> just... yeah. We're also going to take pictures of this little lady. Live on the road. So the reason we have this is because the notch idea we have here is actually a breakdown of their carapace, which is the top of their shell. So we have a code. So every turtle essentially has about the same type of system on their carapace. These are called scutes, every little segment. So the notch code corresponds to the numbers that we're going to notch. So we have 200. 
we put her in this lovely little pillowcase here. Oh. Make her feel comfortable. She has no idea what's going on. So she is 540 grams. So we take different measurements. We take measurements of her plastron, this part here, and her carapace. Oh, she's right in there, watch. She does not like this, and I totally understand why. I wouldn't like it either. So she has 14.07 for mid. For max, she is 14.12. What's the difference between the mid and the max? So the mid is essentially this line right here that goes right down the middle of the plastron. The maximum is the maximum length of plastron. So we have 11.31, 5.5. So how do they pee that much when they have when they're digging? Pardon me? How do they pee that much when they're digging? Do they like hold it for a day? Uh, almost basically. Like I can't tell you the exact amount of time, but they have enough that they fill themselves and they know when they have enough and then they'll go walk along, they'll find where they want to nest and then they'll pee on it and they'll start digging. Imagine if people had to do that. My mom can't oh. hold pee more than half an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> I am very happy I'm a boy. That's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, and she also has a cut on RM1. Okay, so we take the file and we basically just correspond the notch code to the scute. So one, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two. Two. I know, Mom. I'm guessing. I know they catch it again. That's the number. Exactly. I'm guessing turtles can't get shaken baby syndrome. Because if they could, she would have it. They can't really. She's a, she's a mama. She's mm. not a baby anymore. <laughs> I'm wondering if I might change her in notch code, though. How old do turtles have to be to have babies? Um, it depends on the species. For snappers, it's something like 20 to 30 year olds. Wow. For other turtles, it's like 10 to 15. Yeah. yeah. How it's old no do they live? Wow. They can live. We don't know exactly, um, but estimates put them at I think around 200 years old. Oh my gosh! Yeah, big snappers, big big snappers. Do you guys hear that? Because we're we're talking about that. 200, they grow to be 200 years old. Mm, I'm wondering if I should give her a different notch ID. You can. Okay. Yeah, 200. Okay. If it's a blinding's turtle, the ones with the really yellow necks and okay. like the high domes, yeah, yeah. absolutely uh, colors. Okay. So, so we were okay. trying to get her across because she was 1, trying to go to where the construction thing is. Yeah. 40, but she turned around and went back in. For <laughs> 200. Okay. You can only do so much. Back on track. All right, Mama, let's get you back on track. So that's good. Two. Because even though we want to notch her, it's always safety and the health of the turtle first. Can you read out those uh, notch numbers? Yeah, 1,000. 400. 40. Four, two hundred. I think we're a great homeschooling lesson today. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this doesn't really hurt them. I mean, the shaking is uncomfortable, but they don't feel any pain when we do this. It's like a massage chair. Yeah, uh, kind of. That's the best analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> or a pedicure. Yeah, it's actually pretty much like a pedicure. Looks like a nail file. Very, Very heavy, heavy duty. duty. <laughs> Getting her in tip top shape for the rest of the season. <laughs> just... Make all the other turtles jealous. <laughs> volunteered there for two summers. Oh, cool. Yeah. Kaylin awesome. does fundraising for them because she's not old enough to volunteer. Yeah. So that's awesome. She's Definitely. raised like three thousand or something. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, well for done. the years. It's a 
such a great cause, right? Well, really all of is. this is. I mean, you guys are giving so much of your time. So would a snapper be harder? Because they'd be trying yeah. to get you the whole time, yeah. right? The claws are so yes. strong. It's also harder because their carapace is so much tougher. So usually our arms are pretty tired by the time we're done. So, we so it just has to be done with a file, so it goes kind of slowly, right? You can't yeah. use anything sharper. No. No, and the files get very dull after each snapper, <laughs> as you can imagine. Like doing doing little panda turtles like this. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, our file is a little dull, but that's okay. Ooh, you're she's feisty. Like, stop it. Just stop it. She's probably regretting that she's all out of pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, pee like, I would love to pee on you. Where do you guys stay when you're working up here? Um, so we're actually out of a trailer at the Johnston Cranberry Marsh in Dalla. Oh, okay. Oh, they posted a great big picture of a snapper today. That was nice. Yeah, it was huge. They said it comes back every year. Yep, yeah, they get uh, some big snappers. Now, would you just leave those alone in the marsh because they're not on the road? Oh, no, we actually, um, when we're not doing nesting surveys, we are actually going up into the wetlands to probably catch the turtles. Oh, that's that's fun. fun. Yeah, we put on yep. uh, wetsuits. Yeah. Wetsuits on, and uh, yeah, we go out and try to catch the turtles. And just to just mark them? Research, yep, research. Research. Because um, then it's really cool if you capture and mark a turtle and then it actually comes up to lay and you get to catch it again. You actually get to see um, oh, the difference. Cool. And then over the years as well, right? If you keep catching the same turtle, you can see how much they grow, how much they weigh every year. I want to hold her head it. for her. I know, sweetie. Okay, time to take some pictures of this beautiful girl. So if you shake her, she gets dizzy and she can't go anywhere. Yeah, but quickly. we do it very lightly, yeah. not to harm her. You don't want to give her like just a little bit concussion of concussion or anything. Yeah. Like that, Shaking yeah. baby syndrome. <laughs> I already used that one. Well, she recovered nicely. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kidding. Oh, maybe she didn't. What? Okay. <laughs> I was thinking I was a baby. All right, I think I got it. Hey. Thank you very much. Bye, Sally. So we are going to bring her back exactly where we found her. And X marks the spot. Do you yep. have, um... I do not have GPS. All right, I'll give you my phone. Yeah. Thank you, Sally. We can also potentially just drive up there and... Kid, I do not want to have to run that again. Yeah, because you guys are done. Yeah, how far are we? About 200 meters. This is the show of today. Okay. <laughs> You get a great show across the road. There was a deer in the water and a bunch of otters playing, and you just sit out there with binoculars. Exactly. It's really cool. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications bell so you won't miss another video. In honor of the Start Turtle program, we have a giveaway going on. The giveaway includes two posters on turtles, a mesh cloth reusable produce bag and a silicone straw, a metal straw, and a cleaner for your straws. All you have to do to win this giveaway is go to my Instagram and give it a follow. Then post a picture of yourself doing a good deed and tag me in it. After you're done, DM me, done challenge, and you have a chance to win. Good luck and bye! Don't forget to live, love, and explore.